Hey guys, welcome back. We're currently we're gonna talk about frame layout, and this is Res taking you over it. Um, so frame layout is basically saying have this part of the piece of the layout and hold it for me to do something. Okay, it usually just contains one child, but you could add multiple and make crazy stuff with it. The real goal, I would say, for a frame layout, it's either, well, hey, I want to keep a some sort of a title type of thing on there or some sort of I don't know what that could change eventually and I want it to always be there so give you a good example of something that could always change would be hey I want to reserve this area so when I create fragments I could inflate it in that location all right I know all, all of this probably doesn't make any sense to you we eventually will come back to it but remember anything to do with fragments inflating this would be a general good way of making an area dispensable for just that and nothing else would kind of will touch on it or destroy it or you know something like that um, so now we're just gonna create a really simple uh, frame layout to just understand how simple it is and how it looks like at least for now and eventually when we get back to segments maybe we'll do a sample on it or maybe in the future examples all right, so the first thing I'm going to do is, you know what, I'm just going to keep one of these image buttons and the rest, let's just dump it. So I'm just going to erase everything that has nothing to do with my image button. See how fast I could, oh, I can't scroll like that. Just started to go on my Mac, so I'm just learning how to scroll really fast, which didn't happen. And apparently it ruined a bit of stuff. <laughs> so... Let me just fix that one second. Okay, so the only thing I'm keeping is one image button. And um, and I'm going to change the table layout to a frame layout. Okay. I seem to have an extra thing here. Let's delete that. Okay, that looks good. Um, let's see. Now, I have my image button. And we want to just make it a bit looking nice for you guys so I'm gonna just scale it to center um, nope actually I want to fit center well this is fine let's just try it out um, and oh that's why okay that makes sense let's make this rather than wrapping it we're gonna match our parents so like this is going to take the hold. Alright, it looks something like this. Pretty cool, pretty sexy. Right? And that's what the fit center does. Okay? Uh, anything else? No, that looks perfect. And you know what? Over it, I'm going to write something. So let's make a text view. Uh, this stupid thing. There we go. And again, I'm going to match the parents in both cases, right? Um, let's see, what do I want to do? Well, let's write the text. Inside the text, I want to say, uh, learning frame layout. I know I'm wasting time just putting these texts. Uh, what else? We kind of want to also make it into the center. Okay, and maybe change the size of it, the font size. So that would be, let's look up size. We have text size, that's the one we want. Let's make it, I don't know, 20 DP or not good enough. Make it 50. Okay, that looks nice. All right, and that's about it. Okay, so basically a frame layout basically saying this zone is reserved for this and only this and this basically what a frame layout is and the simplification version however I really really suggest you guys kinda look more into it for now um, I'm just gonna say for now it's like a reserved spot where you want to eventually build something or you want to eventually have a boss there or something like that okay we'll eventually do a few examples where we're gonna use frame layout in a specific 
reason and those are really nice because it kind of gives you a mindset when to use frame layout but for now you know everything you need to know about that and if we go back into our design we pretty much did everything right we did the grids we did the frame layout so we did the linear relative the table and that's it there is other layouts out there right there's the constraint layout there's the recycler layout um, the list view and etc etc and there's the precious one I would say we have to learn soon which is the fragment however so far you learn all the basic layouts needed and I think it's enough for you guys to understand those before we move on to other things obviously there's a lot of stuff that could make our life easier but that doesn't mean if you go with them you'll uh, you probably will eventually hit a block blockade because you use some advanced tool without knowing how the basic ones work or I don't know I think that's a great example to leave it off so I'm gonna leave it off there where you learn the basic layouts and eventually we will touch on all these amazing better layouts or not better layouts but different layouts right so this was res leaving you off with the layouts mastered for this portion of the tutorial. Cheers guys, please subscribe, like and comment as you wish. Ciao.